there, welcome to Mind Made Up. My name is Alex. I talk about makeup and I try to do it in a mindful way. But you know, sometimes it's just not that deep either. In today's video, I'm talking lipstick and gray hair. But I think I would be doing a disservice to people who have a very different skin tone than I do to try to like generalize across the board because I really feel like it comes down to undertone. You might have to make subtle tweaks to your makeup routine, but I'm of the belief that you should kind of just wear what you like. I mean, I haven't really changed my makeup routine up too much. All that out of the way, let's try on some makeup and I'll give you my tips on what I think is probably the best practices when you have gray hair. So my biggest tip would be just don't go too light for you. If you do something that is um, like matching to your own flesh tone, it's gonna wash you out. And I think if you have gray, if you're going gray or you have like whitish hair, that's one of the biggest concerns is to just not be washed out. Boy, does a light lipstick emphasize any texture or dry patches on your lips. See how my mouth just disappears? I mean, it looks really bad anyway, but like, it's not the color for me. So lip liner is really gonna be your friend so you don't look too washed out. For me, I like to go for something a little bit more cool toned or maybe pink. Um, this is the Lawless Pink Sand. And you can even kind of draw it all the way in your lips. I mean, like, fill it in. And if you're watching this video, um, maybe a little bit older than me, you might be encountering fine lines around your mouth. And lip liner does wonders for that. To keep your lipstick from bleeding. See, I think that's really pretty. And then I'm just going to go in with the Tower 28 gloss, the clear one, which I think is a really good look if you don't want to wear a full on lipstick. <sighs> I'm like annoyed by the fact that I'm going to have to take all of these off. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, I'm just going to line my lips a little bit again. I'm going to use Honey Rose from Lawless now. This is so creamy. See, if you want to wear a more pale nude stick, or uh, nude stick, if you want to wear, <laughs> if you want to wear a more pale, pale lipstick, wow, I cannot talk. Um, this is Beach Babe by Tarte. What I did was line and then leave the center open. And I'll just put the light in the center. Ooh, blend it in. And this lets you wear a little bit of a nude, but you have some like definition and shaping to your lips so you don't look washed out again. Next, I also think it's very important to have a go-to colored tinted balm or a gloss. I like the Kosas glosses. They're like a lip oil. So I'm just going to use the red one. It's not as red as you would think, but I think it leaves a nice color. Just if you want like a quick tint to your lips, I'll also show you their other shade um, in Dip. If you like the, F uh, the Fenty Gloss Balm, this is a really good dupe for it. This, you might argue, might be a little bit warm for me, but I like what it does. I like the way this adds like some color to the lip with you not putting in much effort at all. I think this really pairs well with the kind of makeup I'm wearing right now, which is just a like powder foundation. So it's nice to have quick options like that, tinted balms or lip oils, lip glosses. I'll show you another one, Burt's Bee formula I have. They're glossy lipsticks. This is Pink Pool. The only thing that's weird is they get like balled up, I think it's because whatever maybe like coconut oil or something they're using. But this is like a lipstick that you can't miss with because it's very sheer and comfortable to wear. Just a little bit of pink. So next I'll move into some bite lipsticks. I'm gonna show you this shade, Lychee, which is more on the warmer side of things versus Power Move. And we're going to compare to see which one is more flattering. So I'll start with the warm. What I like about these is they have a sharpener, 
on the end so you can point them you can make them more pointed and the tip is like your you don't need a lip liner and once again bite beauty is a uh, clean company cruelty free so what do we think I don't know I think I'd still I'd still wear it to be honest all right let's move on to the next one this would need a little more finessing I'm starting to get like a little bit of bumpiness around my lips so it's picking up on that Okay, so moving on to another category that I think looks really good with gray hair, and that is a bold color. I think the contrast is really cool. So I'm going to try one that I haven't put on in a while. It is Artist. This one is not clean. This is um, from in my collection from before I went on that journey. Um, this is the Superstay Matte Ink. But I feel like this should look cool. God, I really messed it up on the corners. If I cared more, I would do this. <laughs> uh, I would clean it up, but I'm not going to clean it up because I'm just taking it off. But for the purpose of this video, let's look at the color. I love a bright color like this. I think it's such a, like, a fun pop. I love it. Let's take it off before it dries so quickly. But I just want to give people confidence. Like, If you have gray hair, your hair is like a, a neutral, so... If everything else about your makeup is neutral, why not go for a big pop of color? You might have to stay more in the cool toned family. Like berries, more blue based reds. But like I said again, it's going to depend on your complexion. Because if you're very warm in tone, who am I to say that you're supposed to wear a cool tone? Because I don't necessarily think that would be the best option for people who are very uh, warm in their undertone. God, my lips are taking a beating. My upper lip looks so bad. But I have to, before I finish, show you how good I think red looks with gray hair. Red, I think, is going to be the number one color for anybody. Just such a nice contrast with the silver and just like a very classic, timeless kind of look. Okay, so I'm going to use this one by NYX. It's a liquid suede in the shade Kitten Heels. Now, I wouldn't say that this is super blue-based, but this is the only red I own currently. And I like the way it looks. What do you think? I think I love red and gray hair. I just really do. My only tip is, like, if you're wearing a dark color or a red, you gotta really go in on your bronzer and blush because it will, it does have the same effect where it can wash you out in the rest of your face. It's such a statement though, I love it. Okay guys, I have one more color for you. It's such a good fall color. Do I dare, do I even bother to take the red off? Can I just paint over it, perhaps? You know what, I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna show you. This is another one by Tarte. This is Yachting. And it's just a very rich, deep plum. I'm just going to put it on top of this because I think it can cover it. I just want you to get the idea. I'm, I'm not trying to like apply it perfectly because that would be hard. Don't you think this is like a nice, cool, fall, like, gothy, vampy look? I love it. Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Please leave me any comments down below about what kind of lipstick you like to wear if you have gray hair. Do you think it's more about your undertone? Do you think there's like general rules that you should follow? Um, if you've grown out your gray hair, like, should you always be wearing cool tones? Is it okay to still wear warm tones? I personally think it's more about matching your undertones, but I also think like it's makeup and it's fun, so you should be able to do whatever you want. If you want to subscribe, that would make me really happy. And I want to say thanks again for tuning in. I want you to remember, 
don't just make up your face, make up your mind too. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.